Hey guys, Harry here. And today, picked up three of these 2122 artifact retail blaster boxes. So we be checking out the blasters here. Let's talk about artifacts retail. There are some interesting changes. Maybe this time I'll explain why you should not get a blaster in this. First off, five cards a pack, seven packs per box. And here are your odds for artifacts retail. Typically in years past, you get absolutely nothing in blasters with a slim chance of getting a jersey card, which by the way, Ancient Remnants, one in 50 packs. So pretty tough pull math equation, like one in like 16 or 17 blasters. Blasters, autographs, one in a thousand packs, the artifacts, the artifacts of retro, one in 1500. But yeah, that seems to be the extent of the memorabilia in here. There's no cool patch cards, limited autograph cards in here. Pretty much just limited to the artifacts. And it looks to be very parallel heavy. That being said, they did something I've been preaching for the longest time. They did it with oh. this product here, Platinum, and including retail exclusive parallels to help make this product not my fire starter. So there is three different parallels. I bought the Mass Blasters, which are pretty much from like card shops and other miscellaneous retail stores. You can get the Neon green parallel from Target and the turquoise from your best pals. I don't know if I'm going to pay 30 something dollars or whatever these are because that would be hostile extortion as these cost $25 which isn't horrendous. I've seen these for 20 but that's Canadian prices usually like 20 US. Okay I gotta put this away. I'm sick of huffing fumes. <laughs> So yeah, that's a very welcome sight to see. And the base of those are one in three packs. You get stars, legends, and rookies in the parallel as well. This is all jumbled up, so I don't know the exact odds for these. The legends look to be one in 16. The stars are one in six, so hopefully we get a rookie in here, even though I'll throw up a sale of one of the top rookies. I don't even know if they cover the blasters, so. Yeah, let's get into artifacts retail, and hopefully I don't go ape mode. Okay, artifacts retail. We got seven packs in here. Yeah, is there a beeping thing in here? Uh, No, I don't see a beeping thing. These aren't even worth shoplifting, so. Not surprised that they don't have any security measures on there but let's check out artifacts retail <laughs> this does not feel right we got john carlson here's the base is the same as hobby artifacts base is always hit or miss this base is fine we got ty smith here and you can see the rose gold right there the foil is different there but there you go here's the rose gold andre svechikov so i guess the regulars are one of three there blake wheeler jake muzzin we got seven packs here five cards a pack hopefully get a decent rose gold in here because i do not anticipate getting an autograph or jersey cards to benajad lind home even if we do whoa what's this uh is this a rookie hey it is a rookie rose gold rookie yeah we got a rose Rose Gold Rookie. So a non-serial numbered Artifacts Rookie. Kind of weird, but Joe Valeno, Artifacts Rookie, Rose Gold. So something, right? Something. Brain Point, Bobrovsky. So I'm just going to go on a limb and say all the rookies in here are the non-redemption ones. So all the carryovers. So like Caulfield and Zegris would be in here, but I doubt Sider's in here. I might have to double check that. But Phil Forsberg, Morgan Riley. Oh, Rose Gold. So we're getting one of these in every pack. JT Miller. I don't think it's exactly every pack, but Bergeron, Baxter. <laughs> Next pack up here, Artifacts Retail, Bjorkstrand, Rantanen, and oh, no, Rookie. Joe Valeno, Rose Gold Rookie. Oh. Uh, artifacts. You never change. You got two of the exact same card there. Clayton Keller, Thomas Shabbat. Seems like Upper Deck made a half-baked attempt at making this product not completely horrendous. It's still horrendous. Darnell Nurse, Joel Farabee, Varlamov, Adrian Kempe, Rasmus Dahlin. But yeah, all base packs is the expectation. That's been the expectation for the longest time for artifacts. I mean, in these, you get all base but one slightly different colored foil. Jeff Petrie, Mantha, Keith Yandel, Rose Gold there, Tolvanen, Suzuki. And a file pack for Blaster 1. Uh, what do we got here? We got Dustin Brown to Foley and oh Peter Forsberg rose gold. Okay, not terrible, but okay. Gord Comtois. All right, let's open a second blaster of artifacts here. Okay, second blaster of artifacts. This goes without saying, but do not get this product. Even though Upper Deck is ruining flagship, it's still vastly superior to this. I highly recommend this product here. Platinum violently defecates on most other retail products from Upper Deck. So let's get into blaster two of artifacts while I huff fumes. Okay, William Nylander, Taylor Hall, Mackenzie Blackwood, Rose gold k dubois palat next pack hopefully you get something different here maybe a jersey card natchez hamilton i doubt it anthony mantha rose gold batherson yandel seems like they don't give a flying freak about the quality control and here we're getting the same <laughs> base cards so there's that yeah horvat and oh austin matthews rose gold so we might finally have a kaching there that's not horrendous there k latang grubauer we have 75 bucks in total i expect to get like less than 10 bucks in value from these so tim stutzla cam atkinson brady kachuk rose gold k that's like a star one raquel Peron, same as Matthews. Three more packs left here. Blaster 2. We got Tyson Berry, Josh Bailey. Do we got Rose Gold here? Nope. Base pack. There's at least one base pack. Kubelik, Theodore Zucker. Second last pack. A second blaster. Ehler, Kutcher. Oh, Rose Gold. P.S. Suter. We got Fiala, Shen. Final pack of Blaster 2. This is atrocious. He sure chicken. Mike Medano. Legends Rose Gold there. K. Demko Parisi. All right. Final. 